ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that likely has never been discussed before in the entire existence of the YouTube fitness community. And I'm going to be discussing bad shoulder genetics and why some people can get away with so much more in the gym than other people, such as through doing bad exercises or exercises with bad technique. For example, many people, they do the lateral raise exercise with their thumbs pointed down so they internally rotate their arm and then they come up. That's not going to be good to do and I've discussed this in previous videos because you got a structure on the top right of your arm here called the greater tubercle. When you internally rotate, that structure comes forward and then when you raise your arm up with your thumb down, it's going to more likely jam structures in there and that can lead to inflammation in this area called the subacromial space, which is right here. And you've got several structures in there, such as your supraspinatus muscle, which is one of your four rotator cuff muscles. Your rotator cuff is very important to stabilize your shoulder. So your rotator cuff plays a vital role in shoulder health. And if you get inflammation of that and a rotator cuff tear over time, through doing bad form, the upright row, that's another bad exercise. You're internally rotating like that, holding the bar and coming up, you can get impingement there. That can lead to damage in your shoulder over time. Not good, but some people, they can get away with a lot more in the gym than other people, a lot more. So let's talk about why that is. And it's because of shoulder genetics in terms of the shape of their acromion. The acromion, in case you guys don't know, it's the edge of your shoulder blade right here, the edge of it. And there's different shapes of your acromion, different shapes. Some people, they're genetically blessed, they have a shape that gives you more space, and some people, they're genetically cursed, where they have a shape that gives them less space, and they can much more easily jam their shoulder when they're doing certain things. Bad techniques, bad exercises, they can much more easily get problems in their shoulder. So let's talk about the flat type. In this type, you're more so genetically blessed, you have more space in your shoulder. And with this more greater space, you can get away with a lot more. Some people, they could even do the upright row with no issues likely. They won't even get any jamming in there because they have enough room. They can actually get away with this. Or the lateral raise, they could actually get away with their thumbs pointed down. So that's the best type. Now let's go into the second type, which is where it's more curved. Now you have less room in your shoulder. And now you can get much, you can get jamming to a greater extent now. You're much more likely to get issues over time and run into problems such as this, downwardly going like that, upright row. You can get issues now. Now the third type, this is the hook type where you're more pointed down. Now you can run into a world of issues if you're doing things wrong in the gym. Now you can run into big problems and here, you don't have much room for error. If you do bad things, you're much more likely to get issues like rotator cuff inflammation or rotator cuff tear over time, things you don't want. So, because you're not Superman, you can't see through things, you can't see right through your shoulder, you don't know what's going on there, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Don't point your thumbs down on the lateral raise. Keep it this, like that, or externally rotate a little. But ideally, you don't want to go down like that. That's a big no. You don't want to do this and come up. Secondly, don't do the upright row. It's not a good exercise. You're going like that and you're coming up. And that's not good. You can replace it. Replace it with lateral raises because this works out your medial deltoid, right? So replace it with that and replace it with shoulder shrugs coming up like that because those are the two big things, upper traps and lateral deltoid that that exercise works. So don't, just don't do it. You can replace it. And just thought I'd inform you guys of an example where shoulder genetic genetics play a big role. I wrote an article on building muscle. You can check it out in the description. It's a good article, pretty detailed. And you know the, who this is, Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. And if you liked the video, which I know you did, thumb it up, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Later.